What's up, YouTube? Final one back with another review. All right, this time it's actually a halfway review of uh, Neil Cooney, Rap of the White Witch, for the PS3 or whatever. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get this review out. I've been uh, meaning to do it for like, <laughs> like, a couple weeks now, actually. <clears throat> but uh, you know, I, I just finally get it over with, just so I don't have to worry about it now. I actually paused the game while playing it, you know just to do this review because I was just like you know what I gotta do this crap but anyways yes halfway review um I'm just gonna talk about like my impressions of the game so far from like you know from getting halfway through it I don't know if I'm halfway I'm like 20 so hours into the game I could probably check it 20 I'm about 20 hours into the game uh, a little over 20 hours and uh I have been doing all the side quests most of them I, I actually skipped a couple just now like recently just so I could, uh, or just because they appear to be kind of difficult. 27 hours, and I don't even think that, uh, that's, like, just all main, st that's not all main story. At least, like, 10 of those hours, not 10, I wouldn't say 10. I'd say 8 of those hours, 6 to 8 of those hours are just pretty much side quests. So, I'm still about 20 hours into the game. Main story. Um... Without doing a uh, uh, a speed run, anyways, anyways, uh, review. Okay, now, basically, I don't know what to talk about first. I'll talk about the uh, story. No, I'm not going to talk about the story. Actually, is pretty good. I I really do enjoy it. It's different. It's uh, not your typical story. It actually has like a realistic feeling to it. You know kid's mom dies what when does that ever happen in an rpg and that's pretty much your sole reasoning for going on this quest and whatever like that doesn't usually happen is it reminds me of like them making a game like Catherine, where it's different it's not the same it's not uh you know just some guy with a sword like i'm talking about jrpgs right now it's not some guy with just a sword who just decides to go on an adventure one day and you know meets a couple uh Characters and they join the party. It isn't really like that. These people, they kind of have their goals. I already have a uh, spoiler alerts in case you guys don't want to know. There were be some in this, not not too many, but uh, if you're about halfway through the game, I don't think it should matter. If you've been to Tahiti, it shouldn't matter. Basically, that's what I'll say. If you've been to Tahiti, it should not matter. I won't go too far after that, but uh. Yeah, I have Swain in my party, you know, everybody uh, seems like, everybody seems like they actually really have a goal, they're not just joining the party, just to join the party, so I like that, and, you know, there seems like there's a lot of, a uh, lot going on behind the scenes, too, like, with enemies, you know, you see, uh, like, little clips from the enemies, and, you know, I ha I do have some speculation as to what uh, their roles will be, like, who's who, or who will end up being who, if you kind of know what I mean, like, the big bad guys, like, what their real purpose is. I kind of have some ideas about that. And uh, I'm pretty sure they're true. Not saying the game bad though. That you know I can predict it. But I'm, I'm pretty good at predicting things. I really am. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Story is really good. It's really unique. It uh, Games should like follow this t kind of story from now on. Or like not, not follow. Not co completely copy it. But you know actually put more of a. Uh, like a. I don't know, like, put more uh, towards, like, actual realistic kind of uh, things, like, you know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, they should try to make it uh, more realistic, more, like, personal, like, what you would really do in a situation like this, but not a lot of uh, games do that, especially the, uh, I don't know, anyways, I'll start talking about that, and uh, get on to, like, gameplay, gameplay, uh, the battle in this game is really, really, uh, it's pretty deep. It's not like, you know, not like completely deep where it's just like really, uh, you gotta, you gotta do a lot of things, but, uh, it actually gets into the fight. There's not like, um, all these, it's, it's not, you don't hack and slash, you don't like just keep clicking A, you know, boom, 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 like the older RPGs and stuff, which got kind of annoying, but, uh, you know, if I had to describe the battle theme, I'd say it's a mixture between like Pokemon, uh, Persona, 
or any Shimagami game where you collect Persona. Um, what was the other one? Uh, I think okay, Dark Souls slash Demon Souls. I'd say it's a mixture between those three games. Is there another one that I'm missing? I don't think there is. It's a mixture between those three games where like boss fights you can't just run in there and just start hacking at the guy you actually gotta like you know take a step back assess the situation and then you know kind of go in for an attack you gotta decide do I go in close do I stay back you really and you know you really gotta manage your character's health and things like that you can't just like it's not like a an action hack and slash RPG like Star Ocean or Tells games or the newer Tells games at least where you just you know just you know keep mashing that uh, X button or circle button or whatever it is you you hit and do your little combos and crap like that and spam it's not like that and uh you know you can throw out your your familiars and all that good stuff uh I don't know it's, it's really fun it's awesome I like it now uh I will have now there are some uh I guess issues that I have with the battle system um it is cool that, you know, boss battles actually go really deep, far down, but sometimes they go kind of a little bit too deep or a little bit, you know, you kind of have to go all out even in regular fights, which it's cool, but sometimes it is kind of annoying. You have to, like, uh, you know, put this little section, this little fight as, like, a whole uh, issue into the game, you know, as a whole, like, ordeal now this one little fight that's supposed to kind of just you know end in like 30 seconds to a minute now it has to be like an actual ordeal it actually has to be like a uh, its own little whole chapter now you have to like manage that whole fight cause you know enemies could kill you pretty fast and you know I do like that I do like that challenge sometimes but sometimes not all the time it's it shouldn't be like that all the time but uh yeah and there is another thing, like sometimes when you're throwing out a, a familiar, or you, you're using a familiar, you're attacking one, poof, 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 um, you pull them out and put another one in, because, you know, that one has, like, a better weapon to attack the guy, or it's better equipped. Sometimes he'll auto-target somebody else, not auto-target, but, you know, kind of when you're in that situation, you're, you're trying to go fast, you, you're not trying to, like, you know, sit there and be like, okay, what do I do? You're not going slow. You you kind of going fast, and then you know you're familiar with like acquire a different target, and you won't even realize it. And then you just click X and like you know go for that guy, and then he'll switch to a different target. When this one only has like five HP left, and you know you knock this guy out, the fight's that much easier. So that's kind of annoying. I wish they would just keep the same target, not you know take a different one. So I don't, I don't know. That's kind of a problem. Like, but uh yeah. I do like the I do like the battle system in this game the the whole battle feature or whatever you want to call it it you know really reminds me of games like Final Fantasy X where you know kind of everybody has well not everybody has a role in this one you can kind of uh, one or solo it or duo it one guy's not really needed but uh we're like you can't every fight you know there's really kind of a way you should approach it you know I don't know I, I definitely think this game's good I think you guys should try it uh, okay graphics actually this game if you read if you watch my uh, Sly Cooper review these in time review um you would know that I really love the graphics in it this game is pretty much rivals that game on like with the uh, art style and you know it just looks really appealing like I can take the controller right now and just the animation physics they're not real physics I don't think they are actually but the animation physics of like the cape moving you know it is uh, an animation and it keeps looping over but it looks so fluid and like nice you know I can run or walk fast I need to walk out of a building first and like it just looks Nice. I, I don't know what to say. It, it, it's. I don't know. It just looks really appealing to the eyes. Like, just like Sly, you know. It, it uh. The art style really. 
any attention to the uh, the animation really are key to making the game look nice. Not you know you know the game doesn't have realistic gra graphics, which uh, some people are like. Oh, I don't want to play that because the graphics aren't realistic looking. But you know because they're expecting to find better graphics elsewhere. But this game really does uh, top even the best games in terms of graphics. Just you know physics actually. Even though their animation figures are still really nice and appealing, they, they you know it doesn't like. I don't know. It, it looks nice. All I gotta say is, guys, it looks nice. If you have not bought this game yet, then I don't know what you're doing. You should have bought it. You should have uh, picked it up. If you didn't want it because of the art style, then dude, that is crazy. Cause art style does not matter. I mean, it actually does. I usually let me play games with uh, this kind of art style. Sometimes, not really, <laughs> but I definitely uh, they definitely stick out to me because you know I like anime art style, cartoony art style, anything like that. So yeah, comic book art style is another one too. But yeah, that's uh, it for this review, guys. I'm gonna cut it off. Hopefully you like the review. Hopefully you got you have this game and you're like halfway through it and. Uh, Hopefully you watch my LP on it, dude. You should do that, man. It's pretty awesome. I do have an LP. A let's play that I'm doing. And, uh, I don't know. It's actually getting a lot better, like, from the first episode all the way to, like, the 63rd. Yeah, I'm, like, 63 episodes. And I don't see myself getting too close to the end just yet. Like I said, I'm, I'd say I'm about halfway. Maybe a little bit before halfway. I'm pretty sure there's still a lot left in this game because it doesn't really seem like I'm close to the end yet like I the characters haven't even met like most of the uh, actual antagonists except for one but yeah that's it guys uh, the video's about to end and you know give me a like tell me what you think about this game give me a dislike if you uh, dislike this video if you absolutely hate this game and you're just a hater because you feel like me I'm a hater but uh, yeah, that's it guys, thanks for watching, and see you later, and watch my Let's Plays. They're awesome, because they're me, and I'm a great guy. But yeah, uh, yeah, see you guys later, thanks for watching.